a company that I've gotten to know well in the last year, uh, 2011, 10 and 11, 2010 Vanguard winner, again winner this year from Kingstown in Northern Virginia, TAPE, T-A-P-E, TAPE, and I believe uh, Louisa Jaffe is here, President and CEO, from, someone from TAPE here, yeah, congratulations. My name is Louisa Jaffe, my company is TAPE, we're out of Kingstown, Virginia, but we also have uh, employees in 12 states and the District of Columbia. And we are defense contractors specializing in systems engineering. We engineer management solutions for the Army, the Department of Homeland Security, the Navy, the VA, and the Department of Defense. I have to kind of rewind slightly before my business got started to tell you how it got started, which is that uh, I had I was in, originally in the Women's Army Corps and I stayed with the Army Reserves for 28 years. Um, and about the time that I got close to retirement is when 9-11 happened and the Army called me to come to Washington on active duty. I thought that I would be serving for a long time, I was in the Reserves, but I had to get off of active duty. So about that time I met Bill Jaffe. And he began to tell me about defense contracting and all about it. And the more I learned about it, the more I realized it was a perfect blend for me of my business and my military background. And so a year later, he and I did the only logical thing under the circumstances. We got on a plane and went to Las Vegas and got married with Elvis. And when we did, we decided to start our own woman-owned, service-disabled, veteran-owned small business for government contracting. Uh, that was the beginning. We hung our uh, shingle out, virtually speaking, in 2004. And uh, we uh, have grown, we've been in business for eight, and eight plus years. And uh, we did $135,000 worth of hard-won revenue our first year. And last year we finished at 25 and a half million. Uh, we have 175 employees and about 30 subs, so we, uh, we've grown quite a bit. I grew up in a very entrepreneurial family. My father loved to uh, buy businesses, run them for a while, and then sell them, and I was often a part of that. Uh, and, and also, as I mentioned before, I had gone into the Women's Army Corps uh, when I was 24 years old and stayed for 28 years. Uh, so I had a very thorough military grounding, uh, and I had a very thorough business grounding. I was in the Army Reserves, which meant I was only on active duty part of the time, and the other part of the time I was involved in industry. So I had many management experiences in industry. Uh, I worked for a number of different companies, including Xerox Corporation and Comcast, and. Um, you know, I learned all kinds of management skills along the way, and I got wonderful leadership training in the military. If I had to give advice to someone starting a business today, it would be go for it. Do it. You can do it. This is America. You can do it. Uh, I would also tell them um, not to get discouraged when it's hard, which it's very hard in the beginning especially, uh, but don't get discouraged. I, go for it. The other thing I would say is be careful on the financial side. Have good fiscal practices. Uh, my husband and I sold our house in McLean, Virginia to raise the capital to start our business so that we wouldn't have to be beholden to other um, you know, venture capitalists or we'd never bought things on credit. We paid cash for everything. And so uh, that would be the other thing is you get your you keep your independence when you can save your own money and run your own company. That would be like number one.